the 114 on top, then 121, and then 122 on bottom. So, to give a shout out to Kroger, I'll tell you, grab one that's not covered, so you can go ahead and do it. Yeah, because I, I think I did that one last class. Shout out to Kroger for giving us our bags um, to cover with. So, the first, uh, well, I guess I should explain that. So, yes, I did just kind of walk into Kroger, but I asked. Um, we have previous students from Phoenix that work at Kroger. And fortunately, one of them was working the night that I went in. So I walked up, and his name's Oswald. And I was like, hey, Oswald, what are the chances I can just get, like, 100 big bags? And he was like, we could probably make that happen. And we wiped them out. They didn't have enough. Because not a lot of people use paper bags. So I got about 50 that night, and I went back yesterday and got some more. Um, they're nice people. And not a lot of people use paper bags, so they're not all that concerned about it. So your first step is going to be cut the bottom off of it. Now be careful because there is a wrong way to do this. I will show you two right ways that you can do it. So this will go much easier if when I'm showing you what to do, all you're doing is watching. And then I will give you time to do it and Mr. Smith will, Mr. Smith's going to go do whatever. Um, but I will walk around the room and help you guys. So step one, I want to do it up here so you guys can see it. Two ways to do it. The most straightforward way to do step one, and actually what everyone should do, I don't even know that I'm going to give you a second option, is to cut down one of these corner seams. So when the bag pops open on the sides, it's got those corner seams popping out. We're going to cut down one of those seams. And just grab a CC3 book. You can just cover somebody else's. Just grab one. You can work on the floor if you would like as well, or at the back table. Only single cut. Then, now be careful, so I'm going to show you the strap. We are cutting this out. Not a side panel, not anything else. So you're going to cut around this <laughs> bottom edge, then across this bottom edge of the front then across the bottom edge of the other side, and then across the bottom edge of the back face. So you end up with a long piece of paper. Okay? Yours won't have a fold in it yet. I'm not repeating my directions, Quinn. I'm sorry. I have a headache, and I, am, I was very clear with what I said. Step one, straight down the seam. <laughs> Any of the vertical seams, quite honestly. You can take it out. I, mean, I left. And the ones that couldn't be bailing on them, I'm left wing, trying to redo it. So Quinn, I actually covered your book number one. Um, I also covered whoever is book 16, or was book 18 of CC3. So Peyton and Gabe, your guys' CC3 books are already covered. All right, give me your attention. I know you might not be right where I am, but I want you to see the next step. So then some people can move forward and then you can keep working. So everybody stop working for a moment. Your next step, if you are RC and just don't want to advertise Kroger all year, you're going to want Kroger to be face up because then it's going to end up on the inside of the cover. But, turn of events, quite literally, we're going to 
turn it so we can't, like, so the reading is upside down. Okay, so Kroger is face up, but upside down. So now everyone stop doing and just watch. I'm going to show you, like, two more steps. And these are, this is the biggest thing people messed up last class, even though I tried to be clear. When we get done with these next two steps, and you, like, wrap the paper around your book, you should not be able to see your book. If you can see your book when you wrap it, your folds were too tight. It's better to have your folds a bit further away from each other than a bit too close. So what I mean by that is we're going to fold up here and down here. You do not want them to be too tight because then it won't work. It won't serve its purpose. Don't do this. Just watch. First fold, I'm going to work with the bag and just use the fold of the bag. But to make these straight, we're going to line up all the vertical seams with each other. I know my camera keeps refocusing. This is why you have a pencil out so you can crease. This is all already folded for you. Sorry, I'll try to get the focus there. So that's folded for you. You just have to finish that fold. But going the other direction away from Kroger, line up these vertical seams with each other to make sure that your fold is perpendicular. Now hold on, don't do yet, just watch. Once I get this fold done, I put my book in here. Don't push it so your fold lays flat. Your fold should be able to stand up. And then you want to mark where your bottom fold is going to be. And when you do this, don't push the other book up. That's going to screw up your mark. you got to hold the top and kind of crease with your thumb. And again, don't do it too close, but close enough. Pull the book away. And again, line up your vertical seams. Now, don't crease the whole thing. As soon as you do a little bit of crease, check. Are these far enough apart that I see paper up top or feel more so? You can't see, but I, I can feel it up here. And paper down bottom. Then, if it's right, crease the rest of the way across, lining up all your vertical seams to keep your fold square. A lot of people have an issue keeping this fold square. If you line up these vertical seams, Sorry, there it's in focus. If you line those up, it'll keep your fold straight. So that's a straight fold because I lined up here and here. I'm trying to, kind of try to sharpen this. Um, this vertical seam. There's this vertical seam. So the way that you can check if it's good, because if you made both folds, you don't really need me to check. Slide your book to one side, there should be paper above and below it sticking out. Book in the middle, there should be paper above it and below it sticking out. Book on the other end, there should be paper above it and below it sticking out. If you have an end that is smaller than the other, your fold got crooked, but it's okay if it's just slightly off, we're going to cut off one of these ends anyway. We have too much paper bag right now.
Now my directions are gonna start to get like kind of particular, but I want to hit you with all the directions, so then you can just work and you guys can think, like, and I can help you and everything else. <coughs> Give me your eyes back up here for just a minute, and I'm actually gonna make these directions even more particular than they used to be. If you're like me, and off sickness is gonna like bother you, you're gonna care about the the actual directions on my screen. So, the Kroger end of your bag is all smooth. Out until the back side of your bag has an overlapping seam, we're going to end up cutting that off. If you're like me and you care about that particularness. I, it doesn't matter if you do the front or the back first, I'm going to use this end over here, the Kroger end, and I'm going to use that fold that is naturally in the bag, and I'm just going to fold right there. Now, if you like cut differently, you might be different, but either way, the Kroger end of your bag is gonna be the flatter end, so that's the easiest one to start with. Now, hold on, just watch, don't do. After I fold that, it is a sleeve, and I actually put the cover of my book in the sleeve. Do not just fold this over. Then you still, the book is still like exposed. It doesn't work as well. Put the book in the sleeve, so the paper actually covers most of that. I don't know why it just took a snapshot. Okay, so we'll show down. And if you have too much, if it tries to go past there, we can pull it back out and cut some of this off. But you want to shut the book and check, like, is it good? If these stick out at the top and bottom, we're going to tape those, so no worries. Hold on. Stop doing. Just watch. Tape. This is kind of particular because it's leather. So when you open your book, you're going to notice there's, like, a lot of extra paper flapping around right here. We're going to fix that. Two pieces of tape. We're not taping on the book. We're taping on the paper. So we tape one at the bottom, one at the top, then watch what I do. Carefully close this to take all the like slack out of the paper and kind of tug on this, not too hard because it's paper, wrap around tape for the front cover. Same thing on the bottom. You can scooch your book into the cover to make sure it's in there good. And then wrap that up, tape it. And I, I'll have a little extra at the top and bottom, which is okay, because now it's covered and protected. But notice how my back cover now is not exposed, and my front cover is still exposed, so I haven't put the sleeve on it yet. Right? We do the same with the front, but be careful. Don't do it when the book is open, because there's extra paper when the book is open. So with the book closed, we wrap around, kind of check how much we need. So I can put this crease right here. And then I know where to cut, but notice when I go to do that, I have way too much paper. So you're going to want to cut some of this excess off. If you followed my directions exactly, I'm going to cut off before where the double thick part is. So I'm going to slice right down here and then slide the back cover on. That's the, and then you tape it and you're done. <laughs> we have a year until 10.08. So we got about 11, 12 minutes left. So I'm going to finish this if you want to watch, and then I'll come around to help you guys. You might have cut at a slightly different place than me. I'll come help you figure it out if you want. Now, last direction. Once you're done, make sure you know which side's the front. Right? You can open the book and check the text. And then name goes on the front and name goes on the spine. So the spine of your book should end up, and last name is probably just as easy because we have a few of the same first names. If you need help, stick your hand.
want to see it again I'm going to cover another CC3 book just because I already have the thing started. Yeah. Your, your name and you can write like math book or whatever else and you can decorate it well. I just need honestly last names are better than first names. We had a lot of first name sharing. So I am at the step of I just folded at the bottom and the top. Right so if anyone needs help watch again. I am going to do Right side first, just to make life easy. I do one sleeve and then tape it. I'll be right in as soon as I get this guy covered. How was a fifth or fifth? Yeah. Does it feel good now or are you like? Uh, I feel like it's a dollar Really? Up or across? Right. I don't know if yoga really helps me with this. Yeah, depending on the pose.